Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here at the end of the New York leg of the America Road Trip Master Builders. I'm here with the Kelly and Son Bel Air and up to this point, and I'm on race 34, up to this point nothing's been really that difficult. One of the first things to note is that the same T5 car I used for lock-in in the Boston leg of the event was allowed for the New York leg. So some people were worried that, you know, the same car would not be used more than once. So far it's been used more than once. We'll see if it continues to be the case for the future legs. But that's a good thing if that same car can be used for all the different legs of the event. As far as the Kelly and Sun, here I'm uh, racing down the track with it. I have it pretty well upgraded to make sure I have no problem getting through the event but what it looks like to me is that it is not really that hard until probably race 38 as you can see I have a six or five second almost six second margin on these uh, relays which means my first car which is Foley Max T5 runs 7.1 or so and if you only need 20 seconds or let's just say it drops down to say 17 18 seconds to win or even 16 seconds to win the final event that means that this Bel Air could run somewhere between 8 to 7 and still be able to make it through the final however we can't assume that it'll be this easy going down the track right now the opponents are only running 9.2 but we're people are getting stuck is right around rate 38 so that's the one to look out for can you beat rate 38 with your Bel Air with the upgrades you have before we get into the total upgrades uh, the Bel Air is a good car it is a good live racer it is fast and it actually escalates its performance pretty easily with stage sixes naturally transmission and body are two of the biggest so if you have trans body and something else you're pretty much set to get through this event at least that's my opinion because at this point with more stage sixes but not full fusion I'm looking at a 7.0 time with even if I remove engine and turbo stage sixes and maybe even tire stage six I have all these on here even if I remove that I suspect this car will still run mid sevens or so and in that situation it should have still no problem getting through most of this event if not all of it you will need fusions here's the thing you can have all the stage sixes and missing more epic fusions and you'll find that the car actually ends up running slower than if you had less stage sixes but all the fusions so never underestimate the importance of fusions fusions particularly the epic ones nowadays uh, tend to really push the performance that last bit of performance you need to get through stage sixes generally add good performance if you have the fusions to put into them without the fusions they will drop some time but not the kind of you know extreme time drops that we were talk we would talk about when we talk about a strong stage six versus a weak one even if you had the strong stage six if it has no fusion in it it's not likely to do a whole lot so that's one of the key factors and that's actually one of the most difficult things to deal with is getting uh, the fusions assuming we're successful in getting all these fusions and we're here in the later part of the event here's the second leg of the relay for race 37 which honestly so far doesn't look very difficult the first opponent ran at 11 and if the second opponent runs even say eight seconds or nine seconds looking at the numbers on his uh, car probably will run about seven eight seconds you're looking at about a, still a 19 second run out of the opponents that should make a relatively easy run for you assuming your car is fast enough as you can see the second opponent barely started we're already done with the race so again that is 18.9 19 seconds basically so you still have a decent margin of error as far as performance goes for the Bel Air here comes the big one race 38 is where most people are stuck uh, that I'm, I've been hearing and that is probably because race 38 is going to be one of those uh, increased performance on the opponent's side by quite a bit compared to the last race and therefore you get stuck kind of situations 
Remember the last opponent ran something like a 9.2. Let's see what this one runs. I wouldn't be surprised if it jumps a full second or more, maybe 8.5, maybe 8.3, or maybe even sevens. Let's see what the opponent runs, uh, but I'm sure it's gonna be fast. So here we go. Oh yeah, they, well, I mean, I'm running 7.0, don't forget. So pulling well ahead isn't all that surprising. That looks like still like an eight second run probably out of the opponent. Yep, 8.154. That's still a fast run. So that did drop about a second, right? It was 9.2, now it's 8.1. So a second drop uh, for a car like this either means a decent amount of Epic Fusions or Fusions or two possibly strong Stage 6s. So until this point, you can almost make it on Stage 5 only and all of a sudden, boom, two Stage 6s needed at least that are decent. And now we may need even more for race 39. Let's see what that entails. Oh yeah, it's much closer. So this is definitely, definitely under eight uh, run from the opponent. Uh, that is going to be 7.74. <laughs> and of course, it's max. Uh, max is going to give me a hard time uh, to finish this event. Fortunately, he doesn't. But again, uh, that could potentially be difficult. Now, the final relay shouldn't be as bad uh, because if your car can make it through 38 or and 39, and assuming you have a fully maxed first lock-in of some sort, you should be able to get through this without a huge amount of stress. Even the computer's not telling me it's super difficult. So let's see how easy it gets. All right, here we go. First opponent. Naturally, you don't expect these opponents to run super slow anymore, but look at that lead I'm generating on them. So again, the first car is slower, but the second car is going to run seven, right? S or even possibly faster. So the second opponent is where you have to stay ahead with the Bel Air. Looking at the numbers again, coming in. Uh, well, I clicked there, but okay. Regardless, the, the car is going to be fast. Uh, how fast with the lead that I have? Probably not fast enough. And naturally it's not. Uh, but then again, I have my cars running pretty quick here. Let's take a look at the final time. So it dropped about two seconds from the 18.9 to 17.5. Uh, not quite, not quite two seconds, one and a half seconds. So the relay isn't bad at all. If your one car ran sevens and the other were in eights, you would still do 15. So the Bel Air needed to be more upgraded for rate 38 and 39 than it did for the final. And of course, once it finishes, it finishes. There's no prize card. There's nothing special. You're looking at the prize card. In fact, you had to spend money to build the prize card to get here. Now, I'm going to give you an idea of the kind of stage sixes you'll need to run the time uh, well under that 7.7. Seven. Basically, you need stage six um, that are stronger. The three that, the one I'm missing and the two that are not installed really are not necessary. I didn't even install tire. And even then the car is substantially faster than what is needed to beat that final leg of the race. Again, body trans, huge for this car. Nitrous, helpful. Engine, tire, helpful. Turbo intake, not as helpful. But that's very standard for tier five cars. It's a good looking car. Uh, I'm glad I got it. I'm going to go now set it back to uh, a lower level of performance where it may have a better chance of success in live. Uh, I will mess around with this some more and then I'll update uh, in the future. So I hope you liked that video. That is the final runs on the duality, which only gives you five gold keys and nothing else. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel, would like to see more of these videos. Subscribe, hit the bell, and you get notified when I put up new videos. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.